Right, this is just a quick demo of um, a Proxmox highly available cluster on OVH servers in a VRAC. Uh, the first thing I want to point out here is that, as you can see, we're accessing through a local IP address, as in a, a 192.168 one. Uh, so we're not going through any public IP address. And the reason for this is I'm utilizing the ability to VPN into your VRAC. Uh, it's an IPsec VPN and there's documentation out there on how to create this. I've set this up on my PFSense router so I can actually just ping it from you know, my workstation or any of the workstations on my LAN. Um, the storage is the shared storage. Uh, I've got backups you know, some Proxmox storage and some ISOs and that's using the OVH highly available storage. So, as you can see there, we've got the Debian test machine on the first hypervisor. I'm going to migrate that off now to the second one, just to show you, and then migrate it. The servers, by the way, uh, the hypervisors are the uh, ones with the twin 10 gig network interfaces in there. The... Um, D1540s I think right and as you can see that's just gone across there that's appeared now on hypervisor 2 um, and if we want that is available there we can go to that you can see it's accessing it through the uh, 11 probably need to give it some yeah the screensaver would come into play get rid of that so now we'll move that back to HV1 and away it goes I don't know why but the tasks when you've got it in highly available it does it a little bit differently to the way it does it normally normally you'd have a box up migrating and you can see there on the log it says uh, HA migrate so it must use a different method but either way it does the same thing and you can see it's gone up to the top there. Now, what I'm going to do is go down here to our interface there. We can see that uh, all three nodes are up and running and correate. Um, what I will do is I will start up a session on the... first node using my SSH key and then reboot it so the first node now is uh, going to go down That's why we get the connection refused, I think, because uh, it's actually gone. If we actually look at the status now of the cluster, yep, we've only got two in the cluster. Number one has gone down. And what should happen now is we will get a migration to the second hypervisor of the Debian test machine. Uh, it's all been quite easy to set up. What I've had to do is create a, um, an extra bridge or two, and I have moved the management network from the public 10 gig interface to the VRAC 10 gig interface. Uh, OVH did tell me that you could do this on the public interface, but I, I don't believe it to be honest. I can't find a way of doing it, and it wouldn't make any sense for it to work. Um, and as you can see now, the machine has migrated to the second hypervisor. It should be starting it up as well, automatically. We should see that come on now. Yep, and it should be there. If I go to the console. And there it is on the 192.168.130.11 machine
the other machine will come back up. They take a little while to boot these things. Uh, so I won't keep you when I show that, but that'll start up now the other machine and then I'll just right click and I'll migrate it back. And that's how to do high availability highly available proxmox on an OVH cluster on a private IP address range.